Hello again everyone, Frozen Foxy with part 3 of the tutorials on the new tools. Thought I'd get a jump on this instead of waiting 3 years to release part 3 while I still have a bit of free time. In this video, we will be going over how to use MeGUI with the AviSynth scripts we created in part 2 to encode the raw video into something that can be uploaded to YouTube. As an added bonus, we'll be going over noise removal for multiple files at the same time using Audacity for producing our final product. As with the previous tutorial, this one also expects that you have already installed MeGUI and Audacity, as well as the Mega K Lite codec pack to have the most necessary codecs already installed. The links will be in the description as usual. When first opening MeGUI, it will likely pop up an updater window with a lot of different things that can be updated. Go ahead and update these if they are available. As you can see, everything is either updated or disabled for my MeGUI installation. Once the updates are completed, click Options Settings. Here we can set the output default directory for our encoding. I've set up one called Dumping Round, or Dumping Ground, specifically to put all encoded videos into one folder. You can also set the default priority of video encoding here. However, I find higher priorities than normal seem to bog down the computer without changing the speed of encoding for the better, so I leave this at normal. Select the Extra Configuration tab and make sure that the number of passes is set to 2. This will give us a high quality video output that is also compressed quite well when compared to the original raw videos. Save this and head back to the main window. I use the Scratchpad versions for both the video and audio encoder settings, but you can technically save this off to a separate new template if you like. For video, I'm using the X264 Scratchpad with file format RAW AVC. Selecting Config, we can see I bumped the bitrate to 6000 and have my preset at the 6th tick mark. Everything else is pretty much default here. For audio, I'm using the FFmpeg AC3 Scratchpad with extension AC3. Selecting Config, we can see everything pretty much at default, other than the fact I've bumped the bitrate to 384 for high quality audio. This gets bumped down to 192 in the Audacity encoding step, but I want to make sure that I get the highest quality audio before the noise removal. With the setup information out of the way, now all we need to do is drag and drop our AviSynth script into the video encoding box at the top. This may take a bit, but we'll eventually populate both the video and audio output sections. Select Q under video and Q under audio. Drop the next AviSynth script in and continue to rinse and repeat until all AviSynth scripts have been queued for video and audio. Now let's go take a look at our queue. Bear in mind that since we have two passes for the video, every script should produce three items in the queue because of two for the video and one for the audio. Selecting Start, we'll begin encoding the video and audio we've queued up into the output directory. When done, we'll have two files from each script. Our video is a .264 file and our audio is a .ac3 file. At this point, we can work on noise removal for all the audio files before combining these files back together again. Let's open Audacity and get it set up to do multiple files at once. First, select File, Edit Chains. Click Add to create a new chain. Feel free to name this whatever you like, but I like to name mine Noise Removal. You will now have an empty chain with just an end statement. Click Insert to add a new step to your chain. We're looking for noise reduction specifically. Once you find it, double click it to place it in the command box. Click OK to add this command to your chain. Next, click Insert again to add another item to your chain. This time, double click Export MP3. Click OK to add this to your chain as well. Our chain now reduces noise, followed by exporting the audio as an MP3 format. Click OK to exit out of the chain editor. If you watched my noise removal tutorial already, you may be asking yourself at this point where our noise profile is being set up. Well, the way chains work with noise reduction is by using the first file that we apply to the chain as our noise profile. To that end, I've created an empty audio track with room noise with a file name that starts with a leading zero, so it will automatically be the first file picked up whenever applying a chain. 
Do keep in mind that the default option for the MP3 encoding may not be 192 kbps, so throw a file in and act like you're going to export it. Click MP3 from the drop down and select Options. Change to Constant Bit Rate with 192 for the quality. This will stay as your default from now on. I haven't found an easier way to change the MP3 defaults for this in Audacity, so feel free to let me know if there is one. In Audacity, select File, Apply Chains, and the chain that you just created in the list. Now click Apply to Files. While holding the Control key down, click all files that you want to add to the chain. This will be the empty audio track plus any AC3 files that we will be applying the chain to. Clicking Open will start the chain running. We will see an Apply Chain box pop up with a list of the files we are applying the chain to, starting with the empty track. When it completes the chain, all of the files we applied the chain to will appear in a directory called cleaned under the same directory we got our first file from. I like to grab all of these files by highlighting them, pressing Ctrl plus X to cut, and pasting them back into the lower directory with Ctrl plus V to paste. Up to you if you want to do this, but I find that it's much easier. Now let's head back to MeGUI where we'll press Ctrl plus 5 at the same time to open the MP4 Muxer window. Uncheck the AND CLOSED checkbox so queuing up Muxing doesn't close the window. Drop the 264 file into the video input and the MP3 file into the audio 1 input. Select Q, then rinse and repeat for all files. Once this is done, head over to the queue and select Start to begin muxing all of the video and audio files back into proper MP4 containers. This will leave us with compressed video and audio that has gone through noise removal before combining it back together. Your videos are now ready to upload to YouTube. Hope this has been helpful for everyone. See y'all later.